welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new the warmer weather is finally here which means you're gonna go a lot more to the beach maybe pool parties you're probably gonna be a lot more in a bikini this video is more about like body care tips when it comes to hair bots or red bumps and stuff on your body just kind of things to get rid of it and feel the best in your body that you are blessed to have right now I am not going to show any exercise or anything like that because I want this video to be more you rocking your own body that you have it's great to want to be healthier and be the healthiest you can but I think it's also really great to remember to feel confident in the skin that you have we're always gonna be judgmental of ourselves we all have bikini bodies no matter what shape or size you are you are beautiful and you rock that bikini I do have a bikini hacks video on my channel that I did last summer so I'll link that down below because there's really cool tips and tricks that you can do with your bikinis you may have at home don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well now that there's IGTV I will be posting videos that aren't on my YouTube channel over on my Instagram channel that being said let's jump into it these first few hacks that I will be sharing with you has to do all around shaving and hair removal if you are prone to irritations or bumps a tip I have for you is to apply a light layer of body oil onto your legs your underarms your bikini line pretty much wherever you plan on shaving in the morning and I am just using baby oil but you can even use something like coconut oil once you apply the oil you can just sleep with it on your body then you can shave the next day the reason why this is really great is it's because it's going to hydrate your hair so it readily slides off once you do end up shaving now that we are moving on to the actual hair removal part I always tell you to make sure that you're cleansing and exfoliating wherever you plan to shave before you start shaving. This is because it's just gonna uncover a fresh layer underneath for a smoother, brighter appearance. So even if you are going to shave at your bikini line, make sure you exfoliate there before you start to shave because this is just going to give you the best shave possible and also to give you a more clean shave. So as you can see, I just went in with my soap and also my exfoliant. My next hack is to use a conditioner for your shaving cream. So I've talked about this a lot, but I personally prefer to use a conditioner as opposed to shaving cream because conditioners are designed to soften your hair and it does double as a perfect substitute for traditional shaving cream. I just find my legs are much smoother when I use something like a conditioner as opposed to a shaving cream. This hack is for those times when you are sensitive, especially near your bikini line and you're prone to razor bumps, is to dab some rubbing alcohol on the skin after you shave so it kills the bacteria and closes your pores. So especially if you're just really scared you're going to get razor bumps, I like to do this after near my bikini line. That is definitely the area that gets a little bit more irritated. Once you freshly groom, especially where your bikini line, it is important to let your skin still breathe because your skin is still sensitive and more susceptible to chaffing bacteria and moisture than normal. Try to go pantyless, especially if you shave before bed. That's a great time to do it because you can sleep with no underwear on. A hack I have used to make sure you're wearing cotton underwear or looser fitting clothes because it's going to let it breathe more and lead to less irritation near the bikini line. I included this tool in one of my Instagram posts a while back and I've been obsessed with it. This video is not sponsored. I've been using the Salu Cup for Salu. Cellulite. cellulite causes the formation of fat clusters so the cellulite cup will destruct these clusters and when you do use it the fat cells will be reduced the cellulite cup pretty much is the reproduction of the palpate rolling that physiotherapists and beauticians use it's a silicone massage tool all you're going to need to do is apply some massage oil and then you're just going to clamp the cellulite cup put it onto your leg, start rolling your skin out. Wherever you're trying to target to get rid of any cellulite, I will have a link for all products I mentioned in this video down below. So just check it out. Do this for a few minutes, just move it up and down the skin and it just makes such a big difference. This next hack is super great for if you struggle with body acne. Tip I have for you is to either use a charcoal cleanser or even something like a tea tree cleanser. I like to use charcoal cleansers on the body because Charcoal is a natural exfoliant known to detoxify, purify your skin, scrub away all excess oils, 
clogged pores, leftover product. It has so many benefits to the skin and it's really gonna help with your acne. And another one is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is super great for any acne you have. Like you use these acne products on your face, a lot of the times you can use it on your body if you're breaking out. If tea tree oil works for you when it comes to reducing acne, then I recommend this at tea tree oil scrub that I got from the body shop. And also tea tree is super great, especially if you are someone with oily skin. I will link down a charcoal and the tea tree cleanser down below, but those are just two really great things that have been said to really help with acne. I have a lot of acne videos, so I'll link those down below for you. Definitely recommend checking those out. Now that you're all groomed and ready to go, I like to finish off with a tanning lotion. In particular, I love this one. It's just the Jurgen Sun Tanning Lotion. I've been using it for a few months now because first off, it's super affordable and I love how it's a foam and it's super nice application which this is a really affordable tanner as opposed to a lot of them which are super expensive and I've been so happy with this self tanner. So when I am going to something like a pool party, I just wanna look my best. I like to add a little light layer of tanning lotion on because it just makes me feel a little bit better. It makes you look a lot more toner and it kind of evens out your skin tone. So I just apply it all over my body with a tanning mitt. I love the color that comes after. It's not like an orange color. It's a really nice bronze tan color. Another extra touch I like to add is just to add a shimmer oil into my body, especially if I'm going to like a pool party. I love this one it's the argan oil from physicians formula it just has such a nice sheen it has gold little glitter in it and it just gives you such a nice glow especially when you are in your bathing suit you're gonna look like a Victoria's Secret model with that glow girl so I definitely recommend checking something like this physician formula is pretty clean when it comes also to their ingredients so that's why I like to go with that brand a lot of the times and when the Sun hits you you give off such a nice shimmer and my last hack is just to drink water so I tell you all the time there's so many health benefits but there's also a lot of beauty benefits when it comes to drinking water it makes your skin glow it fights aging it makes your nails stronger it clears acne it reduces hair loss and so many more things just drinking water throughout your days it's going to just give you a nice glow that is all for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs it up if you did click the subscribe button so you're part of the family because I do upload every Wednesday Friday and Sunday and if you turn that bell it will ensure that you don't miss an upload but I hope you guys are having an amazing day evening or night and remember feel confident in that bikini and rock it girl because you are beautiful but I hope you guys are having an amazing day evening or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next one bye